seen Screaming Eagle over there means only one thing. We're back for vlog number four. Proceeding towards the temperature checking area. Hope to get into the park at a decent time. And let's hope Mr. Freeze is open today. It has not been open much the last few weeks. So yeah, hopefully I get to ride it again today. Let's hope Mr. Freeze is open today. This sign better prove to be inaccurate for the most part. I had to scream an eagle in a few minutes, so I'll check in with the guys once we get back up there. They're testing it. They're testing it. I haven't seen a single try and go over this hill yet. We'll have to wait to see how long until it opens. After about 10 to 15 minutes after the park opened, finally got my first ride on Screaming Eagle for the day. And that was actually really good. I mean, even though it was the red train, it still hauled through the layout. I mean, granted, it is like in the 80s, I think, around here in Eureka. So that may have been why it ran faster, but still, I want to get some blue train night rides on this thing later when it's fully warmed up. So. If you guys see my previous vlog starting from here, you probably know where I'm headed. But if you don't know, I'm heading to the boss. Just a look at the structure of the ride's old helix. In case you didn't know, the boss used to have a huge helix at the end of the ride, but at the end of 2017, it was removed in favor of this turn due to structural damage. So the ride used to start up there, come around, come straight through here, and then back around and then up the hills into the state in the break run. So yeah, pretty cool bit of history there of the boss.
I forgot just how fast this ride really is. I mean, being somewhat early in the day when it hasn't warmed up, it was flying. And uh, that turn around in the that turn in the mid course trimmed the ride so hard on the brakes up there, and it slammed to a stop because how fast it was going. So, yeah, definitely gonna come back later and get some night rides when it's fully warmed up. Technical difficulties. Here we go again. Just doing a couple rides here on Justice League because this is the last time I've had it in the last few weeks. And uh, one thing I noticed, they're loading multiple groups per car now. Like the past two rides, I have not been the only person in the vehicle, unlike the many, many rides I got beforehand once this ride reopened. So this will make things a lot more challenging to say the least. Hope they can keep up the consistent high scores. I am so tired right now. I mean, just did three laps on this ride. Max every single one of them. And uh, there's nothing quite like maxing out the score on a dark ride. So, yeah. I think before it gets dark, I'm going to go get some more shots of the coasters. And I'll come back to this later because my arm did a break after that performance. I mean, so yeah, good stuff.
legit am disoriented right now. I forgot how insane this ride is. And it's also way better at dark than it is in the daylight. So, yeah, good stuff. Should definitely try to ride this more often if I can, because it's awesome. I forgot how fun this ride is. So, let's move on towards, I said let's go check out Boss again. I know it's been a while since I last updated on how this visit's going. So since the last time I checked in, I had done one ride on the boss and three on Justice League. So my boss ride wasn't completely dark out yet. It was very close to being dark, but it was still running really well. And then I got three more rides on Justice League. So yeah, too bad this thing ain't open tonight. So since Scream and Eagle's running ridiculous last weekend at night, I'm gonna go try and get some night rides on it, see how it's holding up, and then I'll come back down to Boss. Another thing I forgot to mention, on my previous ride on Justice League, I got stuck at the fifth screen for like five minutes, so they had to turn all the work lights on for a little bit, and then they sent me the rest of the way through, so I did max it, and it was actually my second highest score I've ever gotten after maxing it, and I had like 771,000, and my highest like 787,000, so. I was really, really close to getting a new high, but still, not bad for a uh, ride on Justice League. Okay, yep, this thing's definitely my favorite night ride in the park. I mean, it was going way faster than last week through the woods. And since I was in the blue train, it made things a lot crazier. So, I'm going for another lap. I mean, that was just freaking phenomenal. I mean, don't know why I avoid this ride at night so much. Usually I'm down a boss, but I need to spend more time up here at night. This thing kicks butt at night in every way possible. So, yeah, I mean, it helps that there's like hardly any lights once you crest the second airtime hill. It's like total darkness back there, like way darker than boss. So yeah, I'm gonna go get another ride on the blue train. And uh, yeah, that was just, wow. Got about 20 minutes till the park closes. Did four night rides up here at Walnut Screaming Eagle. And uh, they definitely solidified its position as my number one night ride in this park. Now let's go see how the boss holds up. So I did two rides on it so far today and not one of them was a pitch black night ride. I got a dusk ride earlier, but it wasn't completely dark out yet. So I'm gonna go try hitting boss now that it's completely dark out and it should be warmed up because it's like a little past 1040 at this point. So let's see how this thing holds up. Since the park is about to close, I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna try and get one more ride on Boss and one more ride on Justice League within the last 18 minutes. Can I do it? We'll have to find out shortly. All right, Boss done. That was really good. Main course stopped us again. So all three rides I got on today, it's Lando stop. But anyway, still good in the last, now to get to Justice League before the park closes. Well, I managed to get one ride on Boss and Justice League within the last 20 minutes of the park was open. I felt extremely lucky because right when I got into Justice League's queue line, it was like six till closing. And so I, they booked me right on and I was able to get off right as the park closed. So that was perfect timing. So, I mean, that was really good way to end the night. I mean, 
my performance wasn't the best because I didn't have as high of a score with a second blaster as I'd like, but still wasn't bad. So yeah, I'm gonna head out now for the night. I think my final ride count was, I think seven on Justice League, five on Eagle, three on Boomerang, or Boss, sorry, not Boomerang, and then one on Boomerang. So I feel like I got a good amount of rides in tonight. So that will do it for vlog number four here on this channel. Stay tuned for the next one. And also, be sure to check out the copyright free footage I have posted for this vlog once it's released. So, yeah, that's all for this vlog. See you guys in the next one.